New England Living is brought to you by Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Today I'm on my way to Middletown, Rhode Island, one of three towns on Aquidneck Island, the largest island in Narragansett Bay. South of Portsmouth and north of the resort city of Newport, Middletown is aptly named right there in the middle and offers historic attractions, outdoor recreation, miles and miles of sandy beaches, and thousands of pristine acres of nature preserves. Because of its rich soil and fairly moderate climate, Middletown is also home to many farms, greeneries, and vineyards. I'm on my way to meet homeowners Larry and Kim in their magnificent, reborn, historic home. This estate, known as Booth Den, overlooks the Saconet River and was completely rebuilt in 2013. This classic Queen Anne stick-style design with detailed shingle courses and bracketed eaves enhances the character of this classic home. The couple was married later in life. Larry is a retired naval officer and CFO. Kim, a glass artist, returning to her passion. When the couple saw this spot, they knew the home was for them, but not just them. They renovated the home with multiple guest rooms to keep it filled with friendship and laughter for many years to come. I'm going to meet the homeowners, take a tour of this stunning home and estate, and also talk to some of the architects who helped create it. Then Larry and Kim are turning their state-of-the-art kitchen over to a local chef and me. We're going to cook up a delicious dinner and celebrate New England living in Middletown. Paradise. That's what we thought the first time we drove up. Wow. Oh, where do we begin? Well, I'm gonna, like, Kim's going to give you the tour. I'm going to catch up with you after. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, this is a great room to start in because one of the things we sort of do a shout out to in this room is Edwin Booth because he was the person who built the house in 1883. John Wilkes Booth, mm -hmm. his brother, yeah. shot Lincoln, mm -hmm. but he was an extremely famous actor. Basically, when Edwin Booth built the house, it looked something like this. Okay, I can see some of like the shingles and some of the detailing on the outside. You've kept true to that. The earliest picture of the house we found is this one. We believe it's 1884. There's a teeny tiny beech tree in the front yard, which is now a huge beech tree. Oh. This is your oh, favorite room. room. It is my favorite room. I think just it's soft, it's kind of quiet. My husband and I, we kind of had different styles and, and this room eclectically I think came together like maybe best of it all. It does, right. I love the saints oh. and then this, um, this statuary and this piece say. of art. You've got really, yeah. really cool taste in art. Some pillows from Africa, some vases made by my girlfriend. And of course the reason for liking the room is the view. Yeah. You just sit out here in this little circle oh. and sleep or read or Complete have friends at night. I love this round oh. table feeling right here. Right. Everyone has a beautiful view. So yeah, come to the dining room. I think uh, the architect's favorite room, he told me. And one of the biggest reasons is because when he opened it up, the stairway became this huge piece of artwork oh, right in the room it? all by itself. Isn't it, isn't it? Yes. Oh, it's just dynamic and it's just textural. It's just gorgeous. All right, so your favorite room, the architect's favorite room. Yeah. We should go into the kitchen because that is everyone's favorite room. Almost all our friends like to cook, so hardly anyone gets to come here and not participate That's in the cooking process. That's a great process. for everyone to be involved. Mm -hmm. We both said, this is really cool. We it need to have really it. Cool. And I think he was surprised I liked it. I was surprised he liked it. I think this is a lot of people's favorite. Yes, wow. well, the vaulted ceilings and all that right. wood. And it looks like, like a ship like pot. Like, yeah. And we almost always have some puzzle going. And You know, I used to put, have a puzzle in my sunroom in one of my homes. To me, it was a reminder that you're never finished. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice thought because I think sometimes I need to take a breath and yeah, I could actually stop. I should probably put one I get in my new home. So every beach house has to have a screened-in room, right? Mm -hmm. Here is this picture of the windmill, which 
is the actual one that used to be on this property. When you're sitting here looking at it, you can see out to what the remains of that. Yeah. So the gazebo has the foundation of this windmill. You know, it's, it's fun to go out there kayaking, seeing boats go by. Oh, that's what we're going to do. And the things, yeah, Later. we're going to do. <laughs> so this was a requirement. We really wanted to have at least one bedroom on the first floor. I love that chandelier. Yeah, thank you. I know. <laughs> when I saw it, I'm like, okay, we're having a green room. My huh. uncle's paintings are green, and that's uh -huh. green. That's and inspiration. It has to be. But also this doorway. I know, right? Oh. It's a good view from the end of the hallway. Oh. Okay, so now the second floor. How many guest and, bedrooms do you have? Well, yes, I think we have nine altogether. Nine. Yeah. Every single guest room has its own bath? It does. Okay, so this is our uh, master suite. I Your guess master you call suite. It, oh, right? it's a nice sitting area. You can here. sit here. This is where we sleep. I always wanted a room that just had a bed. Ah, oh, look at the ceiling. Yeah. Too. Is that great? Nice. So, all right, go that oh way. Oh my. <laughs> okay, I think I lied oh before my. about oh my favorite <laughs> room. Oh wait, did I just see that? Yes. No. Oh. Iridescent tiny tile. They're so right. pretty. That's oh, it. That is cool. Oh, the shower's in there. It's in there. It's in oh. there. This is really one of my top favorite spaces now. I'm spoiled. Kim. Okay, the best thing is Larry has his own bathroom. Oh, so I don't, also don't have to share. And then you can have a ba 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 boom bling. Mm -hmm. and you can have a little masculine, and these tiles are really yes. neat. So if I had taken you down into the old basement, you'd be scared. Oh. <laughs> basement scared me Well, this we call the tasting room, which, yeah, the circle arrangement. Again, it's kind of kooky. Sort of a man cave kind of thing. It has sort of a little bit of medieval. Thing. Right? Oh. Cellar-like, because we're going to go in here. Oh, look at that door. Where we store the wine. Oh. Larry built all the cabinets with there his buddy, go, did it? He stained oh. it, he finished it, he put it all together, and it was one of his things he wanted to do when he retired, be wood shop, yeah. baking, and gardening. So this is the beginning of the wood shop work. With pretty good start. Tell me about this drum. Okay, so that's just really a table I saw and is fun. And but can you play it? You can, go ahead, sure, you can play it. Time for wine tasting. <laughs> Oh wait, where am I now? Yes, oh. right here, Every just where you want to be, right? Tomorrow we could all okay, get together so and exercise. It's just a short walk to the barn. You know, the barn has always been here since Edwin Booth. And when we got it, it was really old horse stalls. But what, what we're doing out here is not barn type stuff in a way. I have my art studio oh, here. Yeah. Oh, this is a great space. So like a oh, is this what you're working on now? Glass. There is some uh, more bedrooms though. Some kids between college and when they're starting their first job have stayed here for a couple months. So we've had a few weddings in the backyard and this is the honeymoon suite. New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston.